Welcome to Excellent CAD. My name is Ajay Anand. In this video, we will discuss about an Excel challenge created by Alan Murray of ComputerGaga.com. So here is the challenge. Alan says there is a restaurant which offers three starter, three main, and three dessert course for dinner. And each guest at this restaurant can order three different items from this list. That is one starter, one main, and one dessert. Now one more table which contains the order received for each item. French onion soup was ordered by these guys here. Again these are the guys who ordered scotch egg. Then mango salad and the other items. So this is our source data. And our challenge is to prepare two tables using this data. First table is for the team working in the kitchen. And that table will contain the total number of each item to be prepared. The second table is for the serving team and that table will contain the list of guests, name of starter, main and dessert course ordered by each guest. So before moving on to the solution, I will show you the output tables which I created. This is the table for the team working in the kitchen and it contains the number of each item to be prepared. The second table here contains the list of guests, starter, main and dessert course ordered by each guest. As it is an interesting challenge, I have developed two different solutions for this. The first one is using Power Query and Power Pivot, and the second solution uses Pivot Table Wizard and VLOOKUP function. In this video, we will discuss the first solution using Power Query and Power Pivot. This is the same data which we saw a moment before. Only difference is that I have changed the European dishes to Indian dishes. Now about the solution in brief. This solution has six steps in general. First step is to convert the source data into Excel tables. Then normalize the data using Power Query. After that, create a pivot table report using the normalized data, which contains the count of each item to be prepared. Fourth step is to create the list of guests from the normalized data. Then add these tables into the data model of Excel and create relationship between tables using Power Pivot. The sixth and final step is to use lookup value function in Power Pivot to create the list of starter, main and dessert course ordered by each guest. So the step one, convert the source data into Excel table. To convert the source data into an Excel table, select a cell in this data range, go to the insert tab, table, Create table dialog is activated. OK. And now this data range is an Excel table. We'll change the name of this table to items. Once again, select a cell in this data range. Insert. Table. OK. We'll change the name of this table to order. Step 2. Normalize the data. That is to unpivot the data in the second table using Power Query. To normalize this data, select a cell in this data range. Go to the Data tab. From Table or Range. Power Query Editor of Excel is activated and the selected table is loaded into the Power Query Editor. To unpivot the data in these columns, select all columns, go to the Transform tab, click on Unpivot Columns. And here is the normalized data, otherwise the simplest form of the available data. First column here contains the items and the second column contains the name of guest. We'll change this column header to items, names. To shift this second column to the beginning, right click on the column header, move to beginning. 
we'll rename this query to order normalized. To load this transformed data into an Excel sheet, click on close and load, close and load to. New worksheet is selected by default. Now mark the checkbox against the label. Add this data to the data model. By doing this, the transformed data will be available to the Power Pivot engine of Excel. OK. The transformed data, that is the normalized data, is now loaded into a new worksheet. Now the third step, which is to create a pivot table report using the normalized data. For that, go to the Insert tab, Pivot Table, Existing Worksheet. We'll select the cell D2. OK. We have the pivot table here. To create a report using this table, drag and drop this field called Items into the area for rows. Now we have the unique list of items. Once again drag and drop the field called items into the area for values. And here is the total number of each item to be prepared. That is the table for the team working in kitchen. So we have completed the first part of the challenge. Now we need the list of starter, main and dessert course ordered by each guest. So step number four, create the list of guests using the transform data. To create the list of guests, I will load this data into the Power Query editor. Select a cell in this data range. Data tab. Table or range. We don't need this column for items anymore. So to remove this column, right click on the column header. Select remove. To sort this data in the alphabetic order of names, click on the button called Sort Ascending. If you watch this column carefully, you can see that some names are repeated multiple times. So to remove the repeated items, right click on the column header, Remove Duplicates. And here we have the guest list. We'll rename this query to Names. To load this transformed data into the same sheet, click on close and load, close and load to, select the radio button against existing worksheet. Select a cell in the worksheet. Add this data to the data model. OK. Now we have the guest list in our worksheet and also in the data model of Excel. So the fifth step, add the tables into the data model and create relationship between tables using Power Pivot. For that, go to the Power Pivot tab, Manage, and here is the Power Pivot window. The two tables which we added into the data model is available here. Order normalized. Names. For performing lookups and to create list of items ordered, we need one more table in this data model. That is the table containing the list of items and description of each item. Close the Power Pivot window. For adding this table into the data model, select a cell in this data range. Click on Add to Data Model. The table called Items is now available in the Power Pivot window. Now the second part of the step number 5, creating relationship between tables using Power Pivot. Go to the Design tab of Power Pivot. Click on Create Relationship. 
here the table called items is already selected so select the second table order normalized now an important thing to note while creating relationship between tables to create relationship between two tables both tables should have a column containing similar values in our case the column containing items is common for both tables Okay. If you want to check the existing relationship between tables, Home tab, click on Diagram View. All those three tables available in the data model of Excel is shown here. And the table order normalized is connected to the table called Items through a line. This line represents the relationship between the columns called Items. Now the last and the final step, use lookup value function in Power Pivot to create the list of starter, main and dessert course ordered by each guest. To create the list of items ordered by each guest, select the tab called names. Here we have the list of guests. To return the name of starter ordered by each guest, select the first column, go to the formula bar. equal lookup value function first argument result column name that is the column from which function should return the result here the function should return the name of the starter dish from the second column of the table called order normalized for that select the second column of this table that is the column called items comma second argument search column name 1 the column in which function should search for the search value 1 here the search value 1 is the name of the guest and that value is to be searched in this column for names comma search value 1 the column containing name of guest in the table called names is search value 1 comma search column name 2 the column in which function should search for the search value 2. Here we need the starter dish. So search value 2 is starter. And that value is to be searched in this column called type of the table called items. Comma. Search value 2. The item description starter is search value 2. Type in double quotes starter double quotes press the enter key and we have all those starter dishes ordered by each guest listed here we'll change the column header to starter close the power pivot window back to the worksheet See the second table called names code updated with the list of starter dishes. Now for the main course, manage. We'll copy this formula. In the second column, equal, paste the copied formula, change starter to main press the enter key we have the list of main dishes here to update the corresponding table on our worksheet click on save Once again copy the formula, we'll change the column header to dessert, paste the copied formula, main will be modified to dessert.
Click on save to update the table on the worksheet. Close the Power Pivot window. And this is the second table which we wanted as output. The table containing starter, main and dessert course ordered by each guest. So our challenge is completed. If you want to change the table style, use this option, format as table. The advantage of using Power Query and Power Pivot is that these tools make our method dynamic. So whenever the source data is modified, one or two mouse clicks are enough to update the output. I will show you the dynamic nature of this method by adding some new data to the source table. We'll add my name under chili paneer, then fish biryani, kaju burfi. To update these tables for the addition of data, go to the data tab, click on refresh all. Pivot table report is updated. Once again, click on refresh all to update the second table. The newly added data, that is my name and the items which I ordered, came to the top of this table. The total number of items to be prepared also has been updated. Earlier it was 102, now it has become 105. Like I told you in the beginning of this video, this is one of the two solutions which I created for this challenge. The second solution is using pivot table wizard and VLOOKUP function. We will discuss that in another video. I hope you will find this video useful. For feedback and discussion, please make use of the comment section. And those who are visiting this channel for the first time, Subscribe and press the bell icon so that you won't miss anything. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.